The broadcast spectrum incentive auction consists of a reverse auction and a forward auction. In the reverse auction, stations will bid downward against each other to sell their spectrum rights to the FCC. The FCC will then sell this relinquished spectrum to wireless companies in a forward auction. This will be followed by mandatory nationwide repacking to condense broadcast spectrum into a smaller band. The FCC kicked off the reverse auction process in October 2015 with the publication of opening bid amounts for almost every television station. Stations now have until December 18th to decide whether or not they want to participate at the opening price by submitting an opening interest application. In early 2016, the FCC will review all submitted applications and hold a bidding tutorial to help participating stations better understand the mechanics of the auction process. Those stations will then have until March 29, 2016 to make a final binding commitment to participate in the auction. In April, the FCC will announce the amount of spectrum it is trying to clear nationwide, known as the Spectrum Clearing Target, and begin the bidding phase of the reverse auction. The auction will involve multiple rounds over several weeks where participating stations will be asked if they will accept progressively lower prices to sell their spectrum. Once both the reverse auction and the forward auction are complete, likely in early summer 2016, the FCC will announce the results and everyone's new channel assignments. The opening price. Opening bid prices are designed to entice stations to participate in the auction. It is important to remember that the opening bid price will not be the selling price in most markets. And in many markets, the FCC will not need to buy any spectrum at all, but stations in those markets will still receive opening bid prices. The ultimate selling prices will be influenced by a number of interrelated factors. 1. The amount of spectrum the FCC can clear across the country. A high clearing target will mean more FCC demand for spectrum and higher selling prices for stations. 2. The number of stations located in and around your market. Lots of stations in a market means more spectrum congestion and generally higher selling prices for stations. 3 the intentions of others in your market. Lots of stations in your market willing to sell their spectrum for a low price will push selling prices down. Station Options When stations receive their opening bid prices from the FCC, they will have four options. 1. Decline to participate by ignoring the FCC offer. 2. Sell all spectrum and shut down. 3. Sell all spectrum and move to lower frequency spectrum, called the VHF band. This option will discount opening prices by 25 to 65 percent. Or, 4. Channel share by combining distribution operations with one or more other stations in the market, arranged in advance of the auction. It is not possible to just sell a portion of your spectrum. Participation decisions for the March 29, 2016 deadline and throughout the auction are binding on stations. Stations can only opt out when the price declines. Therefore, it is important to fully consider the financial and service implications of each option before the bidding begins. Walk away price. As prices may decline quickly during the auction, it is critically important for all participating stations to consider their walk-away price before the auction gets underway. Ultimately, it will be more important for participating stations to know at what price in the auction they will walk away than anything else.